Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to say that again. I wanted to quickly just say a huge thank you to every single person who watched my video, who commented, gave me like such amazing and such kind words and encouraging words to continue my channel and then to also congratulate me on my engagement. If you did not know, I am engaged um, as of this year, earlier this year in March. So it's been a couple of months, but um, I, if you have not seen my return video, I will link it down below for you guys to watch. Now, as for the reason we are all here, as I was going through all the comments from my last video, one of the topics that came up a lot in terms of what people wanted me to discuss on my channel for my like my first video back officially i guess was the situation with raw beauty christie and peter mon now this is bigger than just those two this is involves james charles and other creators on this platform who support james charles it's a very like in-depth situation and it's heavy it's a very heavy topic and i feel like People try to avoid these topics because it is so heavy, it's a very touchy subject. But I feel like that's the reason why it's so important that it should be discussed. Because what has happened in the past historically, like the actions of James Charles, I should say, what he's done is shit. Like he's done shitty things. There's literally no point in trying to tiptoe around the facts of what had happened. And I feel like that's what people are trying to do is they're trying to, people like Christy, especially are trying to like mm, tiptoe around and not really ruffle too many feathers or step on too many toes but it's like by saying nothing and trying to remain neutral in a situation like this you're doing so much more damage than you'd be doing if you were to come out and just say i don't give a shit what he did i don't give a shit what he's been accused of what's been exposed like none of that matters to me i'm still gonna support him and fuck you. I don't understand why these creators feel like in situations like what's going on right now, I don't understand why they feel like staying silent is the better option. It's not. It actually makes you look a hell of a lot worse than you would have if you were just to be like, I truly don't give a fuck. And what makes me more upset too is out of everybody, the one person that I have historically, and this is something that you can go back and look, like historically, I have defended Manny so many times. The fact that he's one of the people who is on the list of people who have shown public support for James totally like crushes me, totally crushes me. Not only as someone who I was a long time fan of Manny for many, many years from the beginning when he was first on the scene as the first male spokesperson for a makeup company. Like it was a huge thing. And I was so happy to watch him grow as a creator and as an artist and then to grow his platform and then to eventually grow his own company. And then to see that he was one of the ones who been liking pictures is still following James. I have been like so sad about that. It, that that out of everybody was the saddest part. More than anybody that I've seen on that list who still follows James or supports James or whatever, that one, that one got me the most. The other thing that I really am having a hard time understanding is why the fuck people will move mountains to make excuses as to why they can support someone like James Charles who has historically, and it's been proven many times, Historically, this kid has been an issue and he's been problematic in this community. And then on top of that, these are not, like I just said, these are not just one-off situations where he's made one mistake. It's not like he made one oopsie and slipped up and messaged one underage person. He's been exposed multiple times. And the one thing that I have always kind of made sure to stand tall on was the fact that you really should not just trust someone's words and james is a great example of this because i'm i'm pretty sure we've all heard about how he had some sort of like i think it was an, a cosmopolitan article or some shit where he was like trying to get uncancelled or something like that and he like basically talks about how he's still doing the same shit he's claiming to be doing you know checking ids and being more careful about who he's talking to but really and truly he's not changed and there is no better proof of 
him not changing than the fact that he's been exposed multiple times by multiple people for the exact same fucking thing and it's always someone underage that is not changed behavior that is a pattern of behavior that has not changed and you know what as long as he has people willing to support him behind the scenes and sneakily he will never he will never be held accountable for the shitty things that he did involving those minors and it's shitty that to this day he has not faced that i'm aware of any kind of repercussion for his actions there has been no repercussions on his end for what he had done which is mind-boggling to me doesn't make fucking sense and what makes it even worse like i said is the fact that he has so much support from people who are very large on this platform now i've seen a lot of comments from people saying that they think that dramageddon chapter whatever the fuck it would be now is coming and i can understand why you say that and i may not agree with that wholeheartedly i don't think it's going to be this huge catastrophic thing that it was for parts one and two but i do and this is just a prophecy this is just me assuming things just making a general statement i do see something happening with the larger creators who continue to stand 10 toes down for James, regardless of what he's been exposed for. I really don't see things ending well for a lot of these big name creators who have these brands, who continue to move mountains and make so many excuses for why they still follow James or support James or whatever the fuck. It's disturbing to watch. It fucking sucks, especially as someone who has survived a groomer who was groomed as a child. It sucks watching people that you have loved for so many years watching their content and following the things they did it sucks watching these people still stand all 10 toes down in support of this kid despite all that he's been exposed for and you know what like like i said there is gonna be a judgment day for every single person who continues to stay silent who continues to support james or those of you who continue to try to remain silent or be switzerland if you know you know there's no staying silent and it, especially in issues like this because you know what if you choose to stay silent when it comes to things like this to me you've taken the bad person side that's enough if you're willing to not say i stand against this person because xyz reasons that tells me that you you're willing to stay silent about a lot of fucked up things and not stand against it so i'm good i will no longer support you as a person or you as a creator i will no longer continue to spend my money on your products and it, it may, maybe it's just me it doesn't matter you know one person you know not buying your products is not gonna completely destroy an entire company but there are a lot of us there are a lot of people like me who are watching every move you make and this is to every creator who is still supporting James or not speaking against James or any of the bullshit that he's been accused of and been exposed for. The longer you take to take a stand against him and not support him, the worse off it's gonna be for you in the long run. And I, I am willing to die on that mountain every single day of the week. I don't give a fuck. With that being said, I'm done for tonight. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.